we started this health post in uh, 23rd of May. This was following um, the news, I mean, of uh, new arrivals from Somali. And actually, when we came around, we found that, I mean, the situation was real. We had many people arriving both in the DAP camp, that is Agadera, uh, Ifo, and Agahale. And we looked at the magnitude uh, in, in the Ifo outskirts, it was big, and this is why we started up this health facility. Regarding the, mal the rate of malnutrition, I would say is high, as when we began the clinic, we were seeing about 10 patients, and now we are seeing about 30 per day. And just in the past five weeks, we have about 600 uh, malnourished children admitted in the program. So this is already telling you that, I mean, the number of malnourished children in the new arrivals is high. We still have 1,200 new arrivals per day. So, I mean, in terms of capacity to provide secondary health care to this refugee, it's quite tough, see, impossible. And uh, if we look at the nutrition, the size the nutrition is um, taking inside the hospital is bigger and bigger. So soon it will be important to have probably a new building just for the nutrition and keep the hospital for other reasons. The moderate malnourished children that we saw earlier are now turning to severe malnourished. Despite the therapeutic uh, feeds that we give, uh, uh, these children, uh, this, uh, the new arrivals need to be registered and be given, you know, like uh, the rations to cushion them from going from moderate to severe malnutrition.